Hey, hello, and welcome to a new travel video. My name is Herr Buda, and I'm traveling with my family through Iceland. Oh, everywhere boxing. <laughs> We started our trip on the Golden Circle with some great Icelandic nature. We visited Tingvellir National Park, where we could walk between the two continental plates of Europe and America. Then we went to see the Geyser and an amazing waterfall, Kulfoss. This is huge! This is Iceland. On the second day we went to the highlands of Iceland and saw the incredible land Manalogar. So far this is the most beautiful thing we have seen in Iceland. Then we started our road trip in the south with the big tourist magnets Selja Landsfoss, Skogafoss, Sole Massandur, Black Beach and Diamond Beach. But we will never forget the glacier walk. On the fifth day we drove from the very touristic south to the quiet east where we could see the beautiful waterfall Hengifoss. On the seventh day it was time to go to the north of the island. But first we had to see the unique canyon Stutlagu. The first thing we visited in the north was Hverir, with an unbelievable smell of sulfur. <laughs> Later that day, we relaxed in the Miva nature baths. Oh my god, this stinks. <laughs> and visited Dimo Burgir lava fields. Good morning. Daddy didn't sleep well this night. The kids wanted eggs. Yes. It's already day eight, but it will be a difficult day for me. I was really sick uh, all night. Little did I know that there was a big chance that I was sick of inhaling the sulfur yesterday. But nonetheless, we'll make it a fun day. We're going horseback riding. I thought it was tomorrow, but it's today uh, and tomorrow it's whale uh, watching. So let's do some horseback riding. Go Arco, go! Waking up this morning, waking up before it's getting nine. Kinda heavy on my shoulders, tracking down some moments back in time. I could swore that I was in it, down to every minute. Don't know what I was sipping, but I felt like I was doing fine. Oh my. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line.
very calming, very relaxing. It's a nice scenery here. Uh, you can go horseback riding all over Iceland, but I really recommend lava horses because they're really nice, really nice scenery. It's a nice place to stay if you don't have any place to stay yet. Uh, you go to the website of Lava Horses uh, and then they have one apartment so you always have to book very early. You can choose for a whole day if you are used to do horseback riding. We are not used to do that. <laughs> so we are taking two hours tour and it's an amazing tour. It's really cool to do. I very highly recommend it. So this is a lava bubble. So there was an eruption a long time ago. All this place was created by lava but there was a swamp underneath and then it created a, some kind of bubble and it it came a rock bubble so we can go in there's no weather and wind that has been like destroying it or like making okay. it soft so you can see almost like it was 2000 years ago oh. and then there's a, a window there behind you and it was uh people used this sometimes before they um were putting up out bait outside and uh, like a dead sheep or something and yeah. they waiting waited for the fox and when the fox came they would wait here with a rifle through, oh. the, through the window yeah. you're actually in a lava bubble yes <laughs> <laughs> i will leave you here <laughs> just be careful when you go out yeah. yes <laughs> yeah where are you going to hi <laughs> Outside, but I can't. Oh. <laughs> Why are you doing that? They like to. Watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh. All the way, like, oh, yeah, down it's like scratching their yeah. back, scratching <laughs> back and making the air under the hair again. Oh. <laughs> driving for a change uh, it's the first time in the trip she was uh, I was not allowed to drive no that's not true yeah, that's, that's true. not true every time I said you want to drive Whoa. no you didn't ask <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% and I don't think if I'm not 100% I should drive so it was a rough night Rough, really rough. <laughs> a Viking night. <laughs> a Viking night. <laughs> it was really tough. Are we going to. Uh, what? Akureyri? Akureyri or something like that. Akureyri. A little town in the north. We have uh, two towns in the north, Husavik, where we do the well watching. I hope. Uh, because I already received a mail that uh, the weather conditions tomorrow will not be good, can be cancelled. Where we heard that before? Let's hope that we can do that. Ah, how nice! What do you think of my husband? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I don't know. Surprise, surprise. I think I need to bite it. Chocolate muffin, chocolate cake. cake, and another chocolate with Smarties. <laughs> you okay? So if you visit Akureyri, then you can drive like 12 kilometers a little bit further, and then you can visit a Christmas, a temp, a uh, permanent Christmas house. Look. How cool is that? It's open from 10 till 6. How wonderful the Santa shop was, I could not enjoy it anymore. I got more sick and needed my bed. Because tomorrow I wanted to be fresh again. So my family dropped me off at the apartment and went to eat something. But let's say that my wife had a big stress moment. Yeah. What happened? What happened? She did not find the restaurant. It was actually further than she expected. I thought we were going to die. <laughs> Dad left us. They had nearly no more gasoline in the car, but they made it. Okay, the thing is I hear you.